Hello and welcome back to Hocus Pocus Pink. Um, yeah, last time we stopped here in Siberia and I wasn't really sure what to do. So let's see what we still have. We have the tweezers, we have the black hole. We have this fitness video and I know where we have to use that. And we used this salt with Yasid. I have never seen such unbridled love of a condiment. Okay, maybe now we need to tell the woman that he is here. So she can finally be reunited with her reindeer. Let's see. Hey, I've got Yazit. He's at the lake licking Carnegie Hall. Did you hear what I said? I found your reindeer. Where is my Yazit? At the lake. And where am I? Over here. Then this is hardly a reunion. Nomads are only nomads when they're young enough to move around. I'm one hundred years. I can't go to lake. Show some respect. Stop chewing your nails. And would it kill you to wear a sweater? Numb neurons. <laughs> okay, so she doesn't want to move. Maybe we can bring the salt here and lure Yazid to come here. So I'm sorry, but I'm taking your salt away. <laughs> Should I tell him? Nah, why spoil it? Okay. Mm. Can I just give the salt to her? No, I can. Salt lick? Ooh. Wow, <laughs> that was disgusting. That is biggest salt leak I have ever seen in my hundred years on Earth. Where in the world is this from, Carmen? Israel, and I am so tired of being compared to that woman. The name's Pink. This is going to do it. This is going to lure Yazid back. Yazid, I knew you'd come back. <laughs> Ah, I'm glad to see everything worked out all right. I'll just put Yasit down for his nap. <laughs> Pretty sprightly for a 100-year-old gal. Okay, like it's uh, a baby. What is this thing? Meteorite chunk, presumably. I landed here on June 30th in 1908. Didn't mean to, but I did. See, I was just streaking across the sky, fiery as can be, when the comet or asteroid or whatever the heck I was traveling with exploded and landed me here. Took out 1,200 square miles of forest that June day. Oh, I didn't mean to, but I did. Caused some damage to the Earth's ozone layer, too. I didn't mean to. But you did. Yup, maybe you can make it up to us by proving to be a really useful inventory item in this game. Aw, uh, it's the least I can do. Okay. Ooh. That was quite a quake. Nothing like a little rat rumbler to get you back on your toes. 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 Rat rumbler? Haven't you ever heard all the Venki folklore? We believe that it is giant rats living underground that caused the earthquakes. Freezer brain. The rats exist. Believe me. Oh, see now, I had heard this nonsense about earthquakes being caused by the rupture and rebounding of rocks in the Earth's plates. But this whole giant rat theory makes a lot more sense. When you stumble upon such a giant rat, I will try to refrain from saying, I told you so. Thanks in advance. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, go back to the lake and check out um, what has happened there, if something has happened. 
But yeah, I know that something has. Oh, first of all, our mammoth has come up a little bit and there's a way inside the cave. And he's still here. <laughs> It looks like the little earthquake drudged my mammoth up to the surface. I hate to root for natural disaster, but a slightly bigger earthquake would set him free. Yeah, it would. Can you help us? Oh, joyous day. No. Is it me? No, no, no. You cannot help us. Okay. We're going into the cave. Not too coarse. Only rodents pass this point, Bobby. But I'm a huge fan of the rodent. Then arg! Suppose you wouldn't mind answering a few questions, matey. If it's true your friend not for, then this answer you're sure to know. Who was the true carrier of the Black Death Plague? Mm, the rat, the some bug and some duck the rat accusing the rat that spirit's not it despite what you've heard we're not the true culprit oh okay the buck that's right was the flea that rode on our back bite the deadliest bite but they still blamed us rats let's try again if to rat you are true blue, which one of these things can a rat just not do? What can a rat not do? Eat through pipes, drink poison and be strong and get old? Get old? Sadly enough, this one we can't do! Us rats live one year then! Kaputi, we're through! Chinese astrology holds the rat deer. If you're year of the rat, which is your birth year? Oh, year of the rat. 60, 72, 84, no idea. That's right, my oh. friend. In fact, they all are. Those born in the year of the rat will go far. Arg! I guess you're okay. Let him in, Ron. Welcome to the rat house. Woohoo! <laughs> looks like you're running some kind of a frat house down here. Get it? Frat? Oh, I get it. Oh, that's funny. Do you get it? I get it. I'm just not amused. Uh, okay, we have a very big rat, so we have a chilled out rat, a nerdy, nervous rat, one rat with two heads, and a barkeeper. <laughs> Let's talk to the barkeeper first. It looks like you're running some kind of a frat house down here. Get it? Frat? Okay, he said the same thing again. Then let's talk to the big guy. Somebody's been working out. Negative. Well, then how'd you get so big? All of you. You're the hugest rats I've ever seen. Ain't you heard? The sapiens used to test their nukes underground here with no regard for the subterranean dwellers. Now look. Ferocious fighters, those sapiens. The very best. Or the very worst, depending on how you look at it. I think it was Lord Lewis Mountbatten that said... If the Third World War is fought with nuclear weapons, the Fourth will be fought with bows and arrows. The tremor you felt was caused by our king aerobicizing, which reminds me, I'm hungry. Okay. He's hungry. Can we follow him? And can we go up there? Okay. Seems not. 
Up there lives the king. Great guy. I entirely disagree. The rat's an imbecile. Self-serving, pompous, always working out, making the whole earth shake. I find it very annoying. Okay. And this is like a little... I don't know what's it called in English. <laughs> but you know what it is. Um, can we... Throw this on the other side? No. What can we do? Ah! No. He's not jumping there? Should I go to the other side? He's jumping, yeah! Oh no, okay. That's not enough. What about you guys? Okay. Wanna go see, sir? A ludicrous game. I have no interest in playing. Stop at once. Okay. Who else can help us? This guy. No. Why do you keep wiping that bar? It must be clean by now. Come on, cheese for brains. Solve a riddle, win a sandwich. It's not as hard as it looks. I'd like to play. You? Okay, I got a good one for you. What saves human lives but is not man's friend? Been around for all time and will thrive till the end. It makes farmers cry, yet this pest cannot fly. A gorgeous coat I must concur, though never killed for its fur. Um, not human's friends, but saves... Okay, maybe the rat? I don't know. Okay. Rats. Well, we're survivors. It's hard to drown us because we're excellent sea divers. We can shoot through pipes, survive a nuclear blast. Scale walls and fall and not get hurt at all. We've, We've done, done it in the past. Rats. Yes, we're resilient. Despite attempts to wipe us out, we grow by millions. And although we only live one short year long, a productive rat and wife could host a family. 15,000 strong. No rats. Oh, shucks. Us furry vitamins here to stay. Oh, fooey! Rats, yes, rats. You know you're gonna need us anyway. Just think of all the breakthroughs science made at our expense. You can't deny, no matter how hard you try, our, our contributions have been immense. Rats, we're highly adaptable. So what if we've got a few diseases that are contractable? And as for crops we devastate, we've, we've got to eat. eat. Tell me, what would you choose for an entree? Poison pellets, or rice, fruits, nuts, and sweets. Did you know that one year in Hawaii, some of our brothers ate about $11 million worth of sugar cane? Yeah. Talk about a sweet tooth. You've heard of rats, nocturnal creatures. That means we're up all night inspecting kitchen features. Wherever man goes, a rat too surely can. There must be some way we could live to enjoy the same long lifespan. Oh, rats! Oh, shucks! Us furry vermin's here to stay. Oh, fooey! Rats, yes, rats. You know you're gonna need us in any way. Rats! Oh, rats! Us freaky vermin wanna play. Rats! You bet your sweet patootie, rats! You know you're gonna need us anyway! Rats! Here's one thing I bet you didn't know about rats. We make a sensational rat waist sandwich. Don't sniff for food, we're arm sniffing for food. You hear me? Okay, now we have a 
beautiful sandwich and we heard the first song of the game uh, in these games there are a few songs i don't remember many of this game actually only of the um, passport to peril game uh, and i don't know why they have these songs in the game but yeah it's kind of nice okay so this poor guy was now pinned to the wall and we are gonna prepare a little treat for the big guy with the sandwich. And we are gonna pin it down so he cannot take it. And then we're gonna go on the other side because we need the big guy. Your Highness. Give me ten more and we'll call it a day. Ten more what? Squad thrusts! <laughs> I just finished my workout a little while ago. You might have felt it up at the Cyphus. I think we did. It felt like an earthquake. Yes, well, I work out very hard. No doubt. Is there any way you could cause an even bigger earthquake? I'm asking for a reason. See, I... There's only one way, and it would never happen, not in a jillion years. I've been trying to get my fellas on the health kick for ten months now, and it's no use. They don't realize they're killing themselves out there. Have you ever seen such a revolting display of hedonism? The rat only lives for one year, you know. Well, Mother Nature is a complex gentlewoman. There must be some reason. Sure there's a reason. We got joked! I have in my mind's library an old Indian proverb that may be of some small comfort. It is better to sit down than to stand. It is better to lie down than to sit. But death is best of all. I relate more to the severely troubled Woody Allen who said, I don't want to achieve immortality through my work. I want to achieve it through not dying. Point taken. So you think the whole working out thing is going to prolong your life expectancy? I know it will. You help me get the rats active and healthy and you'll get your earthquake. I guarantee it. Okay. I have an idea. We have a great workout video from, what's her name again? I forgot it. Ah, Jane, Jane Fondue. Yeah, something like that. Here. Tapes? I've got a projector. That's great. Very modern. This sounds good. This is very good. Thanks for the quake, King. This is very good. And three and four. Do the workout. Come on. Okay. So now, should I go? Thanks for the quake, King. This is very good. Yes, very good. Okay, let's go. <laughs> but why is he not working now? Working out. That's right, work it out. Shake it. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. How am I gonna get him out of here? Yeah, that's a good question. With this one? No. No, no, no. Mm. I don't have anything else. I have the tweezers. But the tweezers don't help. Oh, joy is day. Okay, it yeah. you're just saying the same thing. If I could only get him out of there. Yes. But it would require a sophisticated ice-breaking technique. Ice-breaking technique, okay. Can I still... No, I can't go into our village. Okay. Then I think it's time to go back to the Dead Sea for now. Or can I do something with the meteorite? 
at the Dead Sea? I don't remember. Maybe. Yikes, what is that thing? It glows bright, even in this uh, intense sunlight. Yeah, it does. Okay, can't use it. Yikes, what is that thing? It glows bright, even in this uh, intense sunlight. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hey, that's my pustule popper! Hands off! Uh oh, yeah, right. He's taking it again. He's taking it again, then I'm taking it again. Mm. Maybe. Let's go back to the house. Where do I have to use the meteorite? back out here. Let's go back to Nathan. Hey. <laughs> That's a nice trick. Going up the zip line. Hello my friends. How are you? What evil have you dredged into my room? What evil have you dredged into my room? I don't know. What's that going to do? I don't know. <laughs> Shit, okay. Seems like nothing. Tweezers. Huh. I guess then there's nothing I can do with that here. Can I do something with that at Strange Bloods? I do something with the other people still here? I don't know. But why would they need a meteorite? To make a tooth out of it? Okay. That's just the same old thing. Okay, okay. I think also nothing has changed in here. Then I would say we're gonna read a little bit more about the Dead Sea or about... Oh! Oh! So many more people! Hello, hello! Hello! Are you using your whiskers? Uh, yes. Why? I am Golden Mall's top plastic surgeon, Dr. Aimeki Yunu. This is my wife, Himeki Yunu. She is constructed entirely out of excess body parts my patients leave behind. Everyone in Golden Malls has contributed to her fabrication. I thought you might like her to wear your whiskers. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> She's Miss Frankenstein, basically. Hello, who are you? Very exciting evening. More exciting than you know. I don't really fit in here. That's not such a bad thing. I've been trying to get into high society since the day I was born. But my name said it all. Midge Poor Penny. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Poor Penny. So, how did you wind up here anyway? Haven't you heard? I'm Midge Poor Penny. I'm the lotto winner. I'm a zillionaire. But money doesn't change everything. This crowd still doesn't accept me. That's why I want to purchase the whole entire Stars Bite collection. Then they'll know my taste is as good as theirs. Sounds like a prudent plan. Mm, yeah. Hello. Perhaps I should go check on the children. Mm, no, no, they're busy. I mean, fine. <laughs> and she's also here now with her husband. And that's when I said to my little fluoride face, let's throw a gala event. It will be a wonderful opportunity for me to inadvertently draw attention to myself. 
<laughs> oh my god, what a crazy laugh. Having a fun time, kitty? Of course. Hello, I'm Saltina Cracker Barrel, heiress to the Saltina Cracker fortune, therefore I'm very rich. Mm, okay. Ow! Oh, I'm shaking golden pipes. Good to meet you. Every time I see a new face, I can't help but greet you. Are you of any relation to Shoopy Golden Pipes? I'm his biggest fan. I have all his records. Uh, Shoopy is my stepdad. I I'm Shaky here, his son. My record just came out, and I'm sure that I'll sell some. No doubt. No doubt. So. I guess that makes you the stepson of soul. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right. Say it two times. Stepson of soul, stepson of soul. Say it once more. I can't. I have stuff to do. <laughs> okay. Um, what else do we have here? Never know when a black belt will come in handy. A black belt. Okay. At least we got something. A black belt, what are we doing with that? Maybe tie it around the poor mammoths. Uh, what's it called? You know, his nose, basically. <laughs> Do we have any more things in the bathroom? Maybe something changed in here as well. Just in case we're looking for something, but I don't think so. Okay, let's go. But yeah, good to know that some things can also change here in the house. So it's always worthwhile coming back. Or do you need... I come bearing ingredients. Great! Where are they? I do? The black belt? Oh. Oh, okay. I'm betting this black belt will arm our little princess-to-be with the ability to injure grown men. Give it a try. Is that everything? What else do we need? I don't have the other things, I guess. You still need to find a prickly lap, specifically the hugest one that has a chili pass. And mammoths are from the chili pack. You've just got to help us undo this spell, please. Yes, yes, okay. What evil have you dredged into my room? So this is evil? Should I go to Strange Blood maybe and see if it's something for him? Ouch. I can't go back in there. Strange Blood will have my hide for taking his book and borrowing his black hole. Okay. Then let's take our black hole and go someplace else. Maybe to Siberia again. Or, hmm, one more thing I can try here, but just to go to the small mushroom and try to use the meteorite, but I don't know why. Why that should work. Oh! Oh, there is a cave as well. <laughs> It's so darn dark. I can't see anything. I'm not moving. I think it was English poet John Milton that said, To be blind is not miserable. Not to be able to bear blindness. That is miserable. Sadly, I am one of those who cannot bear it. Turn on the lights! Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't go back. Don't go back. Because I can turn on the light. I think. It's so darn dark. Yes, I can't see. Yes, yes, yes. Let's take our 
meteorite and turn on the light. Wait, wait, wait. There. Yes. And let's see. There's a page from our book. Hey. Hey, it looks like a page from my book of knowledge. I didn't say anything. I'm trying to reach something very small lodged in this cave's wall. What is it? I don't know. Then why do you want it? Because I want to be an archaeologist someday. This could be my first great find. What makes you think so? It was just east of here that the Dead Sea Scrolls were found, in Jordan. Oh, darn, I can't reach. Mm, okay, do you have some nice tools for us here? Hey, I need those for excavating. Okay, that's sad. I think all of those, yeah. Hey, I need those for excavating. Okay, how else could we help her? Maybe with the tweezers. Maybe these will help. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Let's take her stuff. <laughs> Let's I just... don't know how to use that thing. Okay. Those tools are all fine, but I'd prefer Eli's pustule popper. Okay. Those tools are all fine, but I'd prefer Eli's pustule popper. Pustule popper. Yes! Oh, yes, she got, I it. got it. What is it? I don't know. Uh, cool. Amazing. Eli's pustule popper. Okay, and I know how he doesn't notice us using it. And the meteorite now just lives here, and we don't take it with us. So, please protect your eyes, Eli. These nice goggles. Hey, Eli, you'll hurt your eyes out there. Try wearing these. <laughs> ah, you are a menace to the sea, but now you do right by me. Thank you for the sunglasses. It's the least you can do. It's the least I can do, yes. <laughs> Ow! Hello. It's too slippery. Can't get a good grip on it, but I need it for. Uh, never mind. No, not never mind. What Take Eli's it. pustules don't know won't hurt him. Yeah. Oh no, strange blood. Gotten too much sun, I'm delirious. Okay. Thanks for getting rid of the water. Sure. Now I can walk home. Allow me to express my gratitude. <laughs> that one's all yours, bub. Thanks. Wow. That thing is huge. Yeah, it weighs about three pounds.
Okay, and that's it for this episode.